Hey guys, so this is the next part of the Blue Moon Espat Ritual series and this is Invocation. This is going to cover the drawing down of the moon and then the charge of the goddess. <coughs> Excuse me, just going to have a sip of water. So, both of these are ways of invoking bringing forth the goddess and there are many forms of both the charge of the goddess and the drawing down of the moon. Drawing down of the moon comes first and then um, charge of the goddess. There is many different ways of doing both. There are more complicated versions of the drawing down of the moon. There is the garden, garden gardener one um, that involves being naked and in a group and when I read it it put me off of at first so for the solitary I found a nice solitary at drawing down the moon in this book Wicker the Complete Craft by DJ Conway and I will read it to you <clears throat> the purpose of drawing down the moon is to take the essence <coughs> of an, of the goddess for the high priestess to properly attune with the goddess um, to let go of self sense of pride and ego so any messages the goddess wishes to give will come through these so this is the solitary drawing down the moon. Say, blessed gossip, goddess, I call to you across the veil between the worlds. Enter this sacred space that I may feel your presence and know that you are truly here. Kneel before your altar and say, bless my feet that walk the sacred path. Bless my knees that kneel before the old ones. If you are a woman, bless in in. If you are a woman, bless my womb, the symbol of goddess fertility. Bless my breast, the symbol of the goddess and her nurturing power. Bless my lips that sing praises to the goddess and the god. I honor the goddess within me. Um, <clears throat> with arms outstretched and feet apart, say, We are male and female. Therefore, the goddess and god inhabit all creatures just as they do all creation. The goddess within me empowers my soul. Kneel again and say, I call you, great goddess, to come through the veil and be here with me. Fill my body with your holy presence. Bless me with your presence and your power. Through your wisdom and your great otherworld energy, fill my life with renewing power. Power. As seed becomes bud and bud becomes flower and flower becomes fruit, so shall I flower and fruit with good health, prosperity, happiness and spiritual growth. I give you honour, great goddess. Raise your arms and say, Proud and beautiful as the moon on high that races across the midnight sky, the goddess blesses my joyful right. Her glory fills my inner sight. She shows her signs of fire and smoke and chalice wine. Her I invoke into this priestess at the altar, a transformed being, goddess daughter. I kneel in awe and chant the rune, all honour to the lady of the moon. Then stand, drawing an invoking pentagram in the air with your wand, and say the five parts. Five point star of love and power, I bless you with this holy hour. Pray to me when the moon is round and good things I promise will abound. I charge you, follow my ancient ways and joy and bliss through all your days. This completes the drawing down of the moon. I wanted to read to you an example of one that you can find in the book. There are many, many different versions of this. Um, the gardener, gardener one. The gardener one involves being naked in a group, um, and it. I didn't like it. Um, the sound of it. The this one in Wicca, the complete craft. She gives a coven drawing down of the moon, and a coven drawing down of the sun, and then a solitary um, drawing down of the moon, and a solitary. Um, drawing down of the moon and so on. 
sorry, I'm distracted. So that comes after you have cast your circle, after you have invoked the elements, you then draw down the moon. And this that I've just recited to you is one uh, written down pre-existing example of what you can say. Once you've got into ritual a bit more, you can, if you choose to, write your own. But the, the whole point of it is calling her to you, invoking her um, to you so she is with you within the Blue Moon ritual. The full moon is her time, so you are giving yourself to her. I think that is a really nice, simple um, example of how to do it in this book. This book is really good for covering everything and anything you might think to need to know. So that is the drawing down of the moon. Right, followed by the ch charge of the goddess. This is very similar to how you speak to the elements. There are, there are many, many, many adaptions of the charge of the goddess. Many. Um, you can look in, again, you can look in 10 different books and find 10 different versions. Some are more popular and well known. Um, I'm going to read the one that I really like from the craft Dorothy Morrison. And I think this is lovely. I am the harmonious tune of the songbird and the laughter of the gleeful child. I am the bubbling sound of the running brook and the scent of the flowers wild. I am the floating leaf upon the breeze and the dancing fire in the forest glade. I am the sweet smell of rains upon the soil and the rapture of passion when love is made. I am the germination of seed in the spring and the ripening of wheat in the sun. I am the peaceful depth of the twilight that soothes the soul when the day is done. I am found in the twinkling of an aged eye and found in the birth of a newborn pup. Yes, birth and growth and death am I. I am the gracious earth on whom you sup. I am your sister, your mother, the wise one. I wrap you gently in the warmth of my love. That which you seek you shall find within, not without, not below, not above. Remember always, my children, be reverent. Be gentle, loving and kind to each other. And hold sacred the earth and its creatures, for I am Lady Creator and Mother. So that is Dorothy Morrison's Rhyming Charge of the Goddess. You can find many, many versions online, in books, etc. And you can, once you, you know, maybe not as a brand new beginner, but you can write your own version to this effect where you are honouring her. And it's invoking her, calling her, um, sort of bringing her attention to you, this is why you have set your circle, this is why you've called the elements, this is why you've opened sacred space for the blue moon espat, is in honour of the goddess specifically because the, the espats are all about the goddess. So these two things, the drawing down moon, which often sounds more complicated than it is, is drawing down her power to you and honouring her with the, the charge of the goddess. So that's the next step after you have created um, sacred space. There, I, um, there is no reason to be afraid at this stage. The goddess is a kind, loving goddess and you are honouring her. I'm just wondering if I should cover the next step as well. The next step is ritual observance. So the reason for you to be here. So I will um, Read you from read to you from the 
Scott Cunningham book because this is his next step. This usually follows the invocation if the ritual is held on a Sabbath or Esbat. It may be a rite of meditation, transition, thanksgiving, or simply a few minutes to commune. So it might just be you talking to the goddess, um, telling her your worries and fears. Um, in Cunningham's book, he has some uh, some really nice words to say that you could say to honour her. Wondrous Lady of the Moon, you who greets the dusk with silvered kisses, mistress of the night and all its magics, who rides the clouds in blackened skies and spills lunar light upon cold earth, O oh, lunar goddess, crescented one, shadow maker and shadow breaker, revealer of mysteries, past and present, puller of all seas and ruler of women, all wise lunar mother, I greet your celestial jewel at the waxing of its powers with a right in your honour. I pray by the moon, I pray by the moon, I pray by the moon. Visualise the goddess, perhaps as a tall, robust woman wearing silver jewellery and a white rippling dress. A crescent moon ring resting on her brow, or she may toss a glowing white silvery orb in her hands. She treads on the star field of eternal night with her lover, the sun god, spreading moon rays wherever she goes. Her eyes laugh, her skin's white and translucent, she grows. And then you move on to, to magic. So. Basically, invocation and then communication. So you're drawing down at the moon where you take your power into you, um, charge of the goddess where you're honouring her and then speaking to her, talking to her, meditating on the image of the goddess as you see her, seeing if any messages come to you, if you get any feelings, if you get any visions. Um, if you want to set up a meditation specific to the aspect to the full moon of seeing her, of seeing her sat in your space that you visualise, cross leg talking to you, you could try that, see how you go on. So, I think that will do it for this video, because otherwise, yeah, because otherwise we're going to cross over into other territory. So just to go through that again, Drawing down of the moon first. The one that's that I read is in Wicca by DJ Conway. It's a simple solitary rite. You can find them online, you can find them um, in books if you're new. I may well follow that one and maybe alter some of the words. I This is my first formal expert ritual. It may be that I just speak as comes to me, sometimes I do that, sometimes I write my own, sometimes I mix and match it up. Then you have the charge of the goddess, again you can write your own, you can go find someone else's that sits really well with you, resonates with you, you really like it, but often it can be really great to write your own because then it comes from you and comes from your heart. And then ritual observance, which could be meditations and communing, just talking to her, expressing your worries, expressing your concerns, honouring her, saying thank you for things. Um, just imagine as if you were talking to your to your very best friend. Like that. So that's it for this video, which is the invoking and communing part. So I hope that made some sorts of sense and Merry Meet.